So today I'm going to be working with zip files. So we're going to be taking two files and putting them inside of a zip file. The first thing we want to do is to require JS, zip and FS. Then we make an instantly instantiated function because we're working with asynchronous code. And then the first thing we want to do in here is to initialize JS zip. So this would be like initializing the zip file. So you could obviously do this multiple places if you have multiple zip files. The next thing that we're going to be doing is to make a file called hello.txt with the text hello world. So this doesn't come from the file system. So this one doesn't actually have to be here. You can delete this one here. And then after we have put all of our content inside of the zip file, then we want to convert that to a buffer. And we do this like this. And this buffer here, you can do whatever you want with. So you can stream this to the client directly or save it to the file system or modify it or do whatever you want with this buffer. But in this case, I'm just saving it out to a file called example.zip. So let's try and run this and see what will happen. So you can see that this generated a zip file called example.zip. And if we open the file system and double click this zip file and drag it in, you can see that we have a file called hello.txt. And if we open this file here by just dragging it in here and opening it, you can see that it says hello world. So let's try adding the image. So the code for adding the image is just like this. So this here defines a folder. You could of course have put text files within this folder or whatever you want it. But this is the way you define a folder. And then again, we put the name and then the content. And in this case, instead of just putting the text hello world, we actually put the file stream of the file shapes.png. And this is just some options that says that it is base64. And if we try saving this and running it, then this should have added the image. And yes, so you can see that now the folder images is here and there is a file called shapes in here. And that will be the same one as this one here, which is this file here. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.